It's first day, so it means uh, quest uh, release date for just quest games in general. Today we have Shooty Skies Overdrive. I don't know if Overdrive it means like it's like an extended version of the original or something. It's, from the trailer, it seems like basically similarly to Space Pirate Ar Trainer. But like with some upgrades and just like more cartoony, more Minecraftish kind of graphics. It's essentially the same developers that did, uh, I think it's called Crossy Road on the mobile. It's basically you jump as a chicken or just other characters in between the blocks to progress. And just like you want to pass the road just unharmed, unharmed or something like that. Basically just... Yeah, <laughs> survival, kind of chill type of game. Um, this is just 10 euro, so I'm not like expecting some just like, you know, AAA experience or something like that. I'm just expe expecting kind of like some chill, I guess, wave shooting, cartoony, arcade. And that's, I think, pretty much what's gonna be, um, I think. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it looks like Minecraft. -ish. You know, the style of graphics is very like not childish, but I feel like kind of you'll see what I mean. It's very specific. Yeah, see, uh, yeah, uh, in Crossy Road, I feel like this character was also. It's kind of like very like uniquely them. <laughs> Tutorial, great. At least there's that. Move the hand with the pilot. So I guess this I guess this is our controller. I mean, we are the controllers, but like we steer with cat, fox, whatever. Shoot enemies. Oh, we don't press actually. He automatically shoots. So we just move around and that's pretty much it. Not let enemies and bullets hit your pilot. Ah, oh, okay. So, I just can <laughs> catch the, the bullets with my head, I guess. It seems easy because, like, your hand is more mobile than you. <laughs> so, activate the power up. Pub gun. Oh, because of the, <laughs> the animal. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I feel like this is pretty much the basics. Hold down a face button. Wait, hold down a face button on controller. What's a face button? You mean A button. Okay. Charge missiles. Raise the face button. Uh -huh. I guess when we charge, we don't shoot. Okay. Straightforward. I mean, I feel like developers would aim with this game kind of like for more younger audience or just like something to play really fast. Choose your difficulty. For the player who laughs at danger and enjoys the challenge, it was nice knowing you. Should we try Overdrive? I mean... Defeat level bosses to unlock new world complete challenges. Well, okay, let's try overdrive. I guess we we will change if this is gonna be too much. But you know, <laughs> this isn't an overview for so. Okay, well, I have to focus kind of like where. I position the pilot because it's like bullet vacuum. Okay, that's cool. Bullet 
put a shield. This is an overdrive? It's not card. Okay, well. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna be like. Just. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> what did I pick up? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. Now I just didn't notice, that's it. But there's only one life. Yes? And then it resets. We'll try again, I mean... Oh, it's a campaign. Okay. I mean, I don't want to start from the beginning. Okay, I guess I'll cut it because there is gonna be pretty much the same, I think. I feel like... Okay, I think we're in the same position where we lost. It's pretty much just that because... It's like, you have so much freedom. The most important thing is to pay attention where you have your guy. Because we have so much space. Yeah, see? I died before the checkpoint. That's pretty much it. Double guns. It's like... it Because... Like, I mean, we're on the overdrive difficulty. But it's still relatively easy because... It's not a 2D game, it's 3D, so like, we we have so much space to dodge. So I d don't feel like this is particularly a challenge. Ah, those are like homing missiles, okay, good to know, I guess. Vacuum. But it can get like, uh, messy on the screen. Like, you know, just like happening too much. Just like... I... <laughs> like your eyes will just like die. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, I mean... <laughs> Some challenge, please? Malware. Okay, this is the boss. So, for example, we can just like, you know, go from down here. And I don't. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. No. Ooh, oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. That was unexpectedly a lot. Wait. I'll just try to shoot consistently and go in circles. Oh, wait. I had a mete meteor. Oopsie. I'll just hide like that. <laughs> Fuck this. Okay, that was a boss. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard. You just really have to focus where are the projectiles. And it gets way easier with the upgrades. Especially like the shield or something. Pop gun! Ew, Matrix! Meteor. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this game is definitely for younger audience because even on the hardest difficulty it's very easy. At least for me. And it's not like I'm like amazing player. I just pay attention to what's happening around me and that's pretty much 
the main difficulty of that. I feel like playing in VR, especially like games like that, is like a huge advantage. Just again, because of the space. Shit, I have to fix my like. Yo yo! I don't really use it. Yeah, nice. Well, boss, maybe? I don't know. Whoa. I think with added difficulty, it should be that uh, either you hit the. The cat or my head to add difficulty, I think. See, we're already at the bus. Okay, focus. <laughs> okay, well. Yep, 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 yep. Focus, go here. Yes. Move. This is almost like <laughs> a yoga or something because you're just like, you know, smooth movement, not really like. Oh shit, my ass, wait. <laughs> ooh, 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 Here, here. Go here, go here, go here. Well, <laughs> damn it. Okay, 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 okay. Don't get the distraction by shit here, damn it. Ah, so close. No. <laughs> okay. I'll cut it because we got a checkpoint. Oh, continue from boss. Amazing. So I don't need to cut at all. I mean, I'll cut. <laughs> it basically just resetted my score, which is like whatever. I mean, I'm fuck. <laughs> I'm not playing for leaderboards, but I'm just trying to complete the level. <laughs> Okay, dude, you're going down. I have a shield. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, just spam. Oh shit, I have a shield. <laughs> Where is he? No. Got him, got him, got him. Okay, nice. Okay, that was cute. Biter's world complete. Okay, well. <laughs> New content unlocked. Okay. Oh, you're at home or something. Okay. Upgrades. A uh, alien. Oh, the character, I assume. Yeah. Biteverse pilots. Uncanny Wally unlocked. Yeah, essentially, uh, what is Crossy Roads? You also unlock things by just completing the levels. I mean, that's just, you know, this mobile um, kind of upgrade the game gameplay. What is this? We can change the drop rate of unlockables. Okay. Yeah. Or overdrive, current challenge, Swift Tooth mode campaign. Different levels, uncanny valley setups, just that. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, this is pretty much uh, the game. You just play levels and just like you know try to complete it. Of course, try to complete it. What I'm talking about. It's the essentially an arcade game for just like you know to play like real fast or to give for some like kid teenager whatever adult can play it too it's very like the cr like the developers of crossroads are like that they do games just like to play f fastly just like you know when you have time and just like you know just for a little entertainment and move on that's pretty much that um ah because of the different vehicles we got different percentages of the upgrades Oh, okay, that's that's fun. You know, 
Yeah, I would assume it's like a very, very like cool and chill like arcade uh, game for Quest now. It kind of like goes against the premise that uh, you know if you go into VR, you are like for a long run kind of. You don't really take VR, especially Quest, to do like play for ten minutes. I mean, at least I, n not me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can see definitely this game being like cool to play for a little while. It's not essentially a game worth a playthrough, but like, it's cute to have it. I mean, for 10 euro, it's not really that much. And I, I mean, for the quality that we get and for the content, it's like ideal, I feel like. So I'm fine with this and I like it. It's all right.